Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Adia Lumasako and in this channel we'll talk about design and organising and lifestyles as well. Today we're going to be looking at a spa space and how to transform it, how to make it more organised and how to make it more functional. So if you've got a space in your house and you're interested in looking at how to make your space a bit more functional or a bit more organised, stay tuned. So I'm going to take you through how my tumble units used to look like, quite disorganised because I couldn't find anyone to help us put a shelf in due to the lockdown. Now that things are a little bit eased off on the lockdown, we've been able to get someone down, I've been able to do my design and keep it organised. So let me take you through what my tumble unit looks like now. So here's a tumble unit. There you go. So this is what it looks like now, all nicely talked in there. So the first thing you want to achieve is what do you want out of your space? What kind of functionality do you want your space to provide for you? For us, we just simply wanted to have somewhere where we can have all our appliances in one place. So for us, what we wanted was to make sure that our worktop was not cluttered. Secondly, we wanted a space whereby it was easy for you to make tea or have bread or make toast and not clutter up the old worktop. Be able to use it and just tuck it away without it being in your face 24 seven. So I'll show you what that could be like if it was on our worktop. So typically this is what our worktop would normally look like. And because we make bread on here, I would normally put this here so that the bread can break all the way around, so that's what we normally do when we make bread from here. So before you know it, you've got two or three things lined up on here, which means you don't really get to use your space and it's all cluttered up at the moment. So what we're going to do is see how we've arranged this tumble unit to make sure that we're getting rid of everything as much as possible away from the worktop into one space and still making sure that it is functional. My next tip for you will be design. So when you're working with a space, you want to know what kind of design you're going to have in there to make it look pretty, but also you do want to have some kind of functionality going on there to make sure that well, not only does it look pleasant to the eye, but also it's functional for what you need that space to provide for you. So what design you want it to be appealing, like I said earlier, and for me, I got this wallpaper. And this is because on my flashback here, we've got a gray and rose gold skin going on in my kitchen. So I thought I'd get a wallpaper that goes with this scheme already. So if you look at that, it's, it doesn't look too far from each other. When I looked online, this wallpaper didn't seem too far from that but it doesn't need to match anyway because when you then go into my space and see what it looks like there it doesn't look too far from this but it just gives the space a little bit more character and that's the reason why I went with this wallpaper if you want one of these or where I got it from I will have the link below and down in the description so you can have a look at where I got this from my third point would be functionality and for us functionality is making sure that I can get in and out of my tumble unit without having to struggle with it first what that means is having a powerpoint put in there which means that I can put on any appliances very easily without having to take them out to plug it in so secondly was looking at how many shelves we were going to fit in there and the functionality here for me was the fact that I need to be able to open my bread maker I need to be able to get out my blender very easily if I need to without banging it on the shelves. The temptation normally is when you have space is to put in as many shelves in there as possible. But for this case, the best thing we could do is have just one shelf. And I'll show you exactly how this function will play out in our day-to-day -day lives. So my next step is going to be organising. And before I start organising, I've already laid my shelf with um, this mat the shelf mat from Ikea. I've got one here and I've got one underneath here. I am going to be organizing from top to bottom, just like I do with my cleaning. So here, I'm going to be giving you an arc because in here, we're gonna be putting our teas and coffees in here. And I do know that most of them are of the same height, which will make it a little bit difficult for you to find out what's at the back or kind of forget what's at the back anyway. So what I've got here, 
we are going to be doing a little bit of act. So I've got a box that came with a um, stand and I've got my old kind of um, trousers. So I'm just gonna cut this because this will go in nicely. Okay, I'm gonna cut this and put it in the box just to make it a little bit firmer. So that way it would withstand whatever weight we put on it basically. So that's all cut and stuff this in. Like that, cut another side. If you've got any, you can use any old cloth. If you've got a towel, if you've got a box, you've got some toys. And that's, so that's all nice and stuffed in now. So I'm gonna put this like that. So that's quite sturdy now. So I'm going to put that right at the back. I've already done this shelf previously, so I know exactly where things are going to go. So hopefully that might make the video a bit more faster as well. So let's go for it. So these things I don't always use go in there. Tea bags I don't always use will go in there. So now you can see that with the stand, you can easily see what's at the back. I normally don't use this tea, tea bag that often and I barely have that, especially during the summer. I only have this during the winter. But normally, tea, sugar, sweet tutored, normal tea and white sugar. My kids love hot chocolate, so that's always there, it's easy to see. So it's arranged in such a way whereby it's easy for you to see everything that's in the cupboard and also it's quite easy to be able to pick out you're not knocking anything over it's easy to pick out and put back also the ones at the back pick it out and put it back in that way it's more organized so now i'm going to be organizing the bottom shelf the first appliance going in is the bread maker and earlier as i mentioned about functionality this is where it's key because now I can open this. Forward, yeah. I can open this very easily. I can get out my bread when it's done and I can put it back quite easily. No problem. Just like that. Also, I can plug it if I wanted. I can either plug it here or functionality. You can plug it there. So that makes it very, very easy for me. I don't have to keep carrying it out and in and out and out of the storage unit. So as far as this unit is open, it's fine to bake in here, I find. Next appliance going in is the toaster. It's easy. Last one, but not the least, is blender. It's in like that. If I want to blend something, I can just take it out, put all my stuff in there very easily, and put it back and blend. Also got a cable here that I can plug in there. So this makes life a lot easier for me. So as you can see now, this is all nicely organized. And for me, more importantly, it's functional. It's easy for me to keep it like this to keep it organized like this and it really works for our day-to-day -day lives as well so you can make tea or coffee whenever you want you can make bread you can make toast you can blend something very very easily we can move from one task to another very very easily and also you're not cluttering up the worked up space which is what I really really wanted so I'm very happy with this so today we talked about design functionality and organizing 
And at some point, which I should have mentioned earlier, is decluttering. If there's anything in your cupboard that you're not using, I find I do decluttering last. A lot of people do decluttering in the beginning, but I do decluttering last. Once I've got my design, I've got the function ready and I know exactly where things are going, then I could say, okay, I can make do without this and then declutter it if I want to. But if you want to do it in the beginning, that's all well and good as well. If you've liked any of the tips I've mentioned today, click the like button and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Thanks for watching this video and see you soon.